The operative word is try, okay? Uh, and you're going to strike out. And when I tell the kids, I tell you, your deals are going to morph and pivot. Morph means change and pivot. You may go to a different industry, start in one, you know, because, but if you're not passionate about it, kids, believe me, it gets old fucking fast. I mean, if you're not hot to trot, if you don't have a lust, if you don't have an erection, every fucking day you get up for that fucking deal, it'll die. Just like a limp fucking dick. And, and so when you, after some of you, uh, I've had guys pivot in three or four days. I looked into, I'm, I can't see myself doing this three months from now. Then get out. Many of you are in a relationship with whoever your relationship because you're too fucking lazy to get out. You know, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. I hear it all the time. I got 11 years invested in this cunt. I got 11 years invested in this guy. What am I going to do? I got two kids. Well, the kids know you're unfucking happy. Anybody that doesn't, I mean, you're fucking, what are you smoking? Whatever you're smoking, if it's not addictive, give me some. I'll start smoking. If you don't think kids know, they know. A couple of you on your uh, papers, I wish my parents had gotten divorced earlier. Now, why would they say that? Because they knew. They knew. And, and, and the, the things that the YouTube kids, uh, you got you know, you can't hit it for six in cricket terms, or you can't hit a home run unless you swing away. You got to swing away. And, um, the, uh, and then you have an opportunity. Doesn't mean you're going to hit it for six. Doesn't mean you're going to hit a grand slam home run. But at least if you don't swing the motherfucker, you're not, you know, you're going to get dick. You'll get nothing. And, uh, I've, and, and my best mentees, they, I've instilled in them, it's, it's, and it's a cheap cliche, fail, but fail fast. That's easy. Those are words. Not so easy to do. Fail, but fail fast. That's what they say in Silicon Valley. Okay, great. If you can do it, now I happen to be one, but even I, with all my experience, like to hang on, you know? The longest deal I've ever uh, been involved in that failed is 13 years. The longest deal I've ever been involved in that was successful was after 13 years. Both, not different deals, 13 years. 13 years. And the one that uh, failed, I put four and a half million bucks of my own fucking money in. And I never put my own money in anything. But I did, I, I loved that fucking deal. I still love it. When I, I, get, I get fucking get goosebumps just thinking about it. But the dog, and then for, pretty soon science passed me by. Some asshole at MIT came up with a fucking thing, yeah, rang in a, and passed me by. But I mean, I still love this deal, that deal. The deal was perfect. That's what I thought it was. It was fucking perfect. Never underestimate how wrong you can be, goddammit. Believe me. And if I, you know, that was 20 years ago. But I mean, the, uh, it's easy to fall in love with these deals. Pride of authorship has killed more deals than Adolf Hitler killed Jews in World War II. I'm going to say it again. Pride of authorship has killed more deals than Adolf Hitler killed Jews in World War II. You finally can't let loose of it. What are people going to say? How am I ever going to reap the money back? I can go on and on and on and on. And then you wind up just, you know, you die with it. They put it in your grave. They put it in the box with you. And by the way, a rut is a coffin with the ends knocked out. And some of you are in ruts. It's a coffin with the ends knocked out. And the, um, I like that picture. My forms used to be bigger in those days. Not that big anymore. Okay. Um, no, it's all right. 
Oh, Seneca. Okay. We're going to read. Um, where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Shit. Well, I was going to give you Seneca to read tonight. But it doesn't happen to be here. Ah, yes, it is. Uh, would you pass, take one and pass it around, please? This was written about, uh, you know, two or three or four thousand years ago. But he could give the seminar, this guy. And, um, the, uh, and it's, it's hundreds of pages long, but that's the essence of it. And we'll be uh, interested to see how you, um, how you assimilate the information on it. I think it was in uh, Roman times. Um, and a lot of these things I keep on bringing up <coughs> have been discussed, pontificated about for thousands of years. So what does that tell you? That nothing's changed. We've got the same challenges we did two, three thousand years ago. And it's not much different now. And that's why the kids, the, many of the millennials, think that many of their ideas are new. To be liberal and to be naive has been vogue for a hundred years in institutions of higher learning. And then it's, it's no secret that the older you get, the, the more realistic you get, the less naive you get. And, the, you know, and that's just the way it's been for a long, long time. And um, it's not likely to change. Any questions on anything that we've covered so far? Who's my five o'clock? Six o'clock? What? I had two people raise their hand for five. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Who's my six o'clock? Seven o'clock? You sure you're not seven? No, I think it was five. Five. Fuck. You know, this happens every fucking seminar. <laughs> anyway, well, well, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, the um, dinner's in tonight, right? Uh, we have uh, some more mov movies uh, tonight, and the um, and you've got the homework that I've given you. And we have no other uh, late late comers. You're all here now. Um, the um, any questions? Advantage on the QLA, I guess, is the fact that you've walked through the minefield, so you know where the pitfalls are, and we follow your system. Well, I, well, from your lips to the big man's ears, but if it were that easy, like I tell you, there'd be a QLA store on every street corner like uh, Starbucks. So maybe that minimizes the risk? No, no. What it does is, if uh, nothing minimizes the risks, and there's different risks for different industries. Some industries have... Are more uh, uh, have more inherent risks than others, but they're all financeable. Whether you pick A to Z, it doesn't make a shit what it is. They're all financeable. That's the one, the, the main worry that most people have. The, the the biggest myth in the financial world today is there's not money for your deal. That is a fucking lie. Full face lie. I used to have a guarantee. I used to give a financial um, raising capital seminar. And I said that if you follow the steps and you don't get the money after the first six months, I will get the money for you. And if we, um, or at the end of 12 months, I'll, I'll put the money in myself. But you got to follow the steps. And I'll give you your money back on the seminar. And I fly you to the guru of your choice, your family, first class, and put you up at a Ritz-Carlton, I think was the deal. That guarantee was from 1995 to 2006 or five, something like that. I had not one person ever call me on it because one, they either raised the money or two, they didn't follow the steps. And the steps are very simple. You had to make two financial presentations a week, a week to do two different financial uh, institutions. Now, it could be an office for Bank of America in New York and one in Tulsa, 
but it had to be two different. Uh, so which means that you would make 50 financial presentations a year. I gave you two weeks off. Um, not You don't need it, but I gave you two weeks. And everybody raised the money. And that's only two a week. I used to make three to four presentations a day. A day. Not a week. Now, if you live in Bixby, Oklahoma, you can't do three or four a day because there's not enough financial institutions there. But if you New York City, London, or that kind of place, you can do it easy. You can do it easy. Okay, YouTube, we'll see you in the morning. Thank you. To learn more about this video and all my videos, you lazy cunts, click on this link below. Or you can go to my website, danpenny.com, and see all the fucking free material from the $50 billion man.